Now we're going to look at the specific heat. Specific heat is defined as the amount of heat required to raise one gram of a substance, one degree Celsius. For example, water has a specific heat of 4.184 joules per gram per Celsius degree. We have a piece of cadmium metal, and we're going to try to find out the specific heat of this metal. We know that the quantity of heat is equal to mass times the specific heat times the change in temperature. So let's start by finding the mass of our sample. The mass of our sample is 58.953 grams. What we're going to do is we're going to heat this sample to 100 degrees or approximately 100 degrees. We'll get the exact temperature. And we're going to take 100 milliliters of water at room temperature. So let's measure 100 milliliters of water. Remember that one milliliter of water is one gram. So if we know that we have 100 milliliters, then we know that we have 100 grams. And this is at room temperature. So we know that when we put this hot metal in there, it's going to gain heat. We're going to use our coffee cup calorimeter because it's insulated. And we're going to assume that it gains no heat and the water gains all of the energy that's given off by our metal. So let's find the temperature of our water. And the temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. And we have our water boiling, so we're going to tie a string to our sample so that it doesn't touch the bottom of the beaker. If it touches the bottom of the beaker, then we don't know for sure what the temperature is. But if it stays in the water, then we'll, we know that the metal will be the same temperature as the water temperature. Let's, let's put our thermometer in the water, about the same height. And then we'll lower everything in the water together. OK, and we're going to let this boil long enough that we know that the temperature of the metal is the same temperature as the water. I think we've waited long enough to be confident that our metal and our water are at the same temperature. Our temperature is exactly 100 degrees. So I'm going to take out my thermometer, and I'm going to take my sample, and I'm going to quickly put it in the water. Put the top on, swirl it around, and we're going to swirl the cadmium metal in the water with a thermometer to try to make sure that we get uniform temperature. We'll read our thermometer, and when it stops changing, we'll record that temperature. And it looks like it's steady at 25 degrees C. So that means we have a three degree temperature change. So you now have the temperature change in the water, the temperature change in the metal, and the mass of the metal. So your task is to calculate the specific heat of our cadmium metal.